It's Open House Thursday on Your View. Welcome to the show. I am Murayo for Labby Brand. As always, I have the ladies with me. I've been completely this today. One of us slept off. Uh -uh. <laughs> Everybody will not know who yeah. shall. So. How are you doing? Um, I'm fine. I will tell them who. How are you doing, Nima? I'm fine. <laughs> Don't tell, please. So let's just, uh, I wanted to say thank you to Debola Williams for the book. Oh. I was at the court yesterday. I had to wait a few hours because my partner litigates and I had an opportunity to read through. I think it's very inspirational. Inspirational. Mm. Mm. You know what he's done for young girls with that book. And um, thank you to. Petroleum Marketers Association, Nupeng, Truck Drivers Association, for what you people did hey, this what did morning. Do? Are you serious? Yesterday was fire battle to get home. They've come to Ijegu Port. You know, petrol people are trying to buy, you know, the products Stop now, up. so mm. they are everywhere. And we could not get into the community. I had to get to Ojo to get in. But fortunately, by morning, they organized themselves and created a way for you, me to drive. I panicked and left home too early. But as I got on the road, I was shocked that I panicked for mm -hmm. no reason. They were packed on the roads, but they organized themselves well all the way to mile two. So the truck drivers trying to approach the jet team, I took and copy the example that the yeah. petroleum tankers have done. Thank you, Sas. Okay. Well done. You can continue. It. Maintain Fantastic. it. Fantastic. Well done. <laughs> How are you doing, Tokwe? I'm very good. Um, I had the mentoring. I had two mentoring sessions yesterday. So mm -hmm. I went for one. I solicited that one, had the conversation, should we buy cement here, how should we do the fencing, all of that. And, you know, every time I, I get such knowledge, I value and I appreciate them. So, one, I want to appreciate Dr. Sunday Olorun Sheyi. God bless you, sir. Um, thank you. Thank you. There will be no Rep360 if God did not send you in. So oh, I really appreciate you, you, sir. We thank you, too, sir. <laughs> thank you. And then yesterday evening, I got a message from Mrs. Jumoki. I didn't know what it was. When they say mentorship bus boost, <laughs> she just saw my message and she was like, it does, is this consistent with the brand you are building? And then I had to reread and reread and edited my message that everybody that's my automatic message. I think that we should expose ourselves to relationships that will help us to yes, grow yes. and we should be teachable. Mm. So after our show yesterday, mm. one of my former makeup students actually sent me a message and said she's sorry for about the way she left things. That she watched the show yesterday and felt that he spoke to her and she uh. made amends immediately. And I think when we do these things like this, let us act on it as well. Fantastic. I like that. That's a good story. <laughs> so um, I have to, I know we're not allowed to give birthday shout outs. I know you're always special. Honorable Commissioner for Education. I work with her. She's a mentor to me. She's a mother. And she has, God has used her mightily for me. I want to wish her a happy birthday today. It's her birthday. Happy birthday to Mrs. Folashadi Adefisayo. Happy birthday, Ma. Happy birthday, Ma. We celebrate <laughs> you. <laughs> Have a wonderful day. And thank you for all the good work you're doing yes, in the so Ministry of Education, yes, Lagos State. Cousin. Thank you. <laughs> Ayo. Ayo, I'm trying to, let me get, let me, I know she's watching. She's going to kill me. I don't have her <laughs> last name. But I know it's Ayola Lakija. I remember her husband's name. For well, Ayola Lakija, it's also her birthday today. Happy birthday, darling. Don't worry, I'm sorry. Your husband will not forgive you. You have to forgive me. <laughs> Happy birthday, Ayo. God bless you. And uh, there's somebody, some, somebody randomly. I know we're not, as I said, we're not allowed to do this, but Nima is on the show. So I use Nima as an excuse. <laughs> it was Nima that sent me the person. Oh but somebody, so Nima sent me this person. She said, Well, today to Jani, 25th of the birthday. Today is his birthday. Happy birthday. Well, so happy birthday to Mr. Happy birthday, Mr. Happy birthday to Jani. Happy birthday. Okay, I know we're going to get queries for that, but it's all good. It's because of Nima. <laughs> <laughs> nice one. Let's go on a quick break. Stay with us, we'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Thanks for staying with us. All right, we're going to start with the nation. 1.39 trillion Naira Lagos State budget was presented by our with governor yesterday. Major headline, Labor rejects proposed petrol price hike by government. Nigeria Air to provide 70,000 jobs after takeoff next April, says Sirica. Exam fees neck withholds candidates' results in debtor states. And why Lagos can need a 1% extra allocation in proposed revenue formula. Okay, which story are we taking? Simple major headline. Major headline, uh, right. Um, Labor Congress um, issued a statement about the, the regulation yesterday saying that they reject it in totality because of what they call an import driven model. So, th what that means is that we're still importing this product. We have it as crude 
you know, uh, re uh, resources, and we must create a solution that is for our people, and not just, you know, just continue to govern the way it is. This is exposing to further hardship. And the Minister for Finance and Budget tried to explain how the 5,000 would assist in the, in, in the immediate short term to ease only people months, into yeah. the deregulation for only 12 months and hopefully before other me, 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 measures that mm -hmm. government is putting in place mm -hmm. would come out. Okay, Oops, so you know you pay three fifty naira, three fifty forty dollars, three fifty naira per liter, mm -hmm. but we also give you five thousand naira to assist, to assist you. Immediate. So for those of you saying that you can't, you can't afford mm. to pay that fuel. So the, for the poor masses, we give you five thousand naira. Is that what mm. they're saying? That's I what they're saying. I, well, I still don't yeah. agree with it, and I'm, still, I'm, I'm expecting the Senate that have said they don't agree with it to also follow through with okay. the five thousand. But I believe that we should fully deregulate, and when they put a price tag mm -hmm. on. Deregulation is not deregulated. We've been there before. Yeah, when you put a price, me, it's like they're meeting us halfway. No, when they put a price mm. on deregulation, it's not deregulated. Total deregulation is deregulation is free oh, yeah. flow. So mm. if you are saying three forty, so it means that if anything what? rises above three forty, they will still no no no. Mm. Whatever they you still buy, pay subsidy. No, they said three twenty to three forty. So maybe they are just uh, putting mm. the okay, maximum. Okay, let's move on. It's not our hot topic. So let me discuss the um, Neko? Gandhi, 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 Gandhi. I want to talk about the one percent because one percent um, is something that's been it's been on on for a long time. Um, Lagos and Kano need 1% extra allocation. It was, it was a statement by Ganduje, represented by his um, um, chief press secretary, Mr. Abba um, Anwa. And he said that after the meeting, he, um, the Ganduje, the governor of Kano state, had with the governor of Lagos state, when the governor of Lagos state went to visit him to commemorate, to commiserate concerning the death of um, Dangote's, um, Sani Dangote, that's the death of Dangote's brother. Okay. They had a conversation about the similarity of the challenges they are facing. The overpopulation, people flood into Kano as well as they flood into Lagos, and the challenges of providing basic infrastructure and services to the people. And so the request is now officially for Lagos and Kano to get an extra 1% in the new revenue sharing formula. All right, so I was going to take the Nigeria Air to provide 70,000 jobs. So the mm. Minister of Aviation, Hadi Sirika, was speaking during the NEC meeting they had yesterday was virtual, I'm, I, I, I read. Uh, and he was saying that this, the new structure of the airline, which will be launching in April next year, would have 46% owned by Nigerian entrepreneurs, 49% will be owned by international strategic partners, and 5% will be owned by the government. And he's saying that the airline will start, and when it starts, it's going to, um, we're going to get about 70,000 jobs, which is much more than the entire civil service uh, that we have uh, in the country. And uh, its importance is, 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 is quite critical at this time. And uh, I'm pretty much, I mean, we're happy. We just hope this is the first time the government is planning. But with this provide. strategic partnership amongst entrepreneurs, um, international partners, and the government, hopefully we can have a Nigerian well, airline. He said, a if, you know, the pre-launch that was done a few years back <laughs> sort of raised hopes, and then we didn't then see, we didn't see structure. Yeah. Now, yeah. You're, yeah. as his minister, you're re introducing this again and adds to use the word conditional if. if. Please, let me just um, take the Neko story, follow up to the hot topic yesterday of um, um, concerning education. The Neko National Examination Council um, has said that some states have not paid their monies. It said Neko withhold result of candidates in indebted states. I was hoping they would mention all the states, but they were specifically mentioning Niger states, that some states, including Niger states, have not been able to access their results. So the students are held back from being able to take advantage of yes. probably being able to use their results and combining it with their jam to be able to access um, um, getting admission into school. Can we please ensure all states pay their NECO fees? NECO said that they, they, they had to pay sal um, um, their staff salaries and other had um, had up workers that joined them, about 18,000 supervisors, 887 assistant supervisors, and 65,000 examiners. And these people need to be paid. And then you cannot afford to have states owing NECO fees. Please, let's do the needful. Okay, so I have to move on to the punch. Nigeria suspends 6.7 trillion naira on fuel in 2022. Uh, estate residents protest land grabbers invasion, demand Lagos intervention. Police bus Ikiti kidnap syndicate arrest members in Quara. Lagos proposes 59% capital expenditure. Someone who presents 1.3 trillion naira budget. Stop Obiano from leaving Nigeria after tenure, EFCC tells um, immigration. 
with 49% foreign ownership, Nigeria Airline operations um, to start. Vandalism oil sector GDP contribution drops by 270 billion naira in nine months. And uh, reps on the order probe of FG's abandoned 97 billion naira cancer center. Okay, let's start with um, the human interest story, the estate residence project. So, residents of the Gateway Zone estate of Magodo Phase 1 area have lamented the continuous encroachment on their estate by suspected land grabbers. And what they said, according to the report here, is that there was um, about 30 land grabbers recently invaded the estate with a bulldozer demolition fence to create an, an access road to construct a residential building on the gorge. Mm -hmm. Now, according to them, they have a directive from the executive arm of the government saying that that was illegal, the gorge was illegal. However, the land grabbers were saying that they have the approval of the House of Assembly of Lagos State to go ahead to do the board to go. So they actually arrested these people. They came in with their drivers. They arrested them and handed them over to the police. But obviously, they are, they, they are scared because they think that they, are, they feel that these land grabbers might come back. And they're asking the government to intervene because the executive arm have told them categorically that um, it is a legal gorge. And, and there's only one access to this estate. So they're trying to ensure that people don't get some kind of other, another additional access into the Magodo estate. And, they spent, okay. I know, and I know that area, they spent a lot of money doing the road. And, and, and I think that we need to prosecute these things further because you hear that the executive will say it's not approved and then somebody will come with a letter from the same <laughs> Lagos state saying something is approved. Right. So there was um, um, the, um, um, <laughs> the police bust that happened in Ekiti State mm. and they were able to arrest the part of the syndicate. So it's like a huge syndicate of criminals. They were arrested members all the way to Kwara, to Oshun. Mm. And whenever we see the police responding positively to um, insecurity issues, we must take those stories. So mm. the commissioner for police in Ekiti State identified um, a man called Samuel as a member of the syndicate. They are, the member was arrested in Kwara. Some other members were arrested in Oshun. And they all work together as kidnappers. And we must applaud the good work that is being done to reduce the cases of kidnapping yes. within our country. And then, okay, let's go on a quick break. When we come back, we'll continue with the front page reviews. Stay with us, we'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Right, thanks for staying with us. Moving on now to Daily Sun. Bandits on rampage in five Niger communities. Imo government in Dax Mkorocha family confiscates property. Bank fraud perpetrated by inside as this EFCC. Nigeria receives looted Bene Ife, uh, Ife artifacts from the U.S. Museum. At last, Air Nigeria takes off April 2022. Presidential panel recommends integration of civilians in new security architecture. Oh, I've lost read that story. Okay, which story are we taking? Major headline in the sun is so saddening for me. Um, in Niger State, bandits attacked a community, uh, five communities in Shiro local government area of, of um, Niger State, and their mission was to rape, gang rape women and girls oh in the God. state. According to a witness account, they came, they asked her where her husband was. She said he had gone out, so they dragged her inside in presence of, the, of her children. She was raped, and the account says that it was the same for all women. Another terrible account says that a mother and daughter were co-raped by oh bandits God. like that, and you know they, they would rape. Uh, she, if you object, they could kill or harm by using using gun. They came with sophisticated weapons, and they carried out this heinous crime in the local government. The communities are uh, Nasa, Iburo, Pelele. Gofa and Nakobe, all in Shiro local government areas of um, Niger State. Mm. We keep talking about insecurity, and it seems this is like a, a ethnic cleansing or a deliberate attempt to, 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 to dehumanize women because this is unimaginable for gender me. Gender cleansing. Most mm. of them, uh, maybe gender, but I think it's ethnic because they might be from a particular, mm. uh, and you know, Raping other children without uh, protection or, or something like that is to, to further uh, create another uh, monster that I don't want to imagine. But for me, this is so saddening. I think that it's either 
government is willing to do something or they stand and stop responding when they criticize them for failing with security. Mm. Okay, yeah, I was going to take the Imo government story. So the Imo state government has um, indicted Okorocha. There was a report. So the White Paper Implementation Committee on Land and Other Related Matters has recovered government um, properties that they claim to have been taken over by the former governor of Imo State. So they said that the, the governor appropriated and partitioned properties belonging to the state, land belonging to the state, to himself and his cronies. Um, listed, that, this, listed the different areas where this thing took place. The committee has pensioned where the land should be reverted back to the names and the names will be published soon. The names of all those that he gave the land to illegally within his state. There's a whole lot going on. I just believe that whatever... Um, accusation um, um, has been whatever they dug up concerning um, the former governor of Imo State, um, Okorocha, should follow the rule of law mm -hmm. in implementing the recovery. It shouldn't be an attack on, on any person. political individual. Oh, Everybody that has gotten a land that is not meant to be their own should be allowed to repatriate it. Um, another something happened in the East again. The federal government hasn't paid any dime on federal roads. That's from um, it pays the Abia state governor mm. who's re um, shouting out that he did some roads. The Portacourt Road in Aba is a federal road, said that they built it and they, they built other roads and the federal government is yet to refund them any of the money. Whether they refund us or not, they will continue to build, but they are seeking that we... Um, they paid... Reimburse. Yes, the, they embossed. Yes, the FCC has indicted banks and bank officials in most... Uh, bank frauds and uh, cyber crime that are happening. According to the head of cyber crime section, Mr. Abba Sambu, who represented the chairperson of the EFCC at an, um, an, I okay, an ICT event. Mm. Took, oh, you took it? I was, yeah, I was going to take that story. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Okay, so um, he said that, you know, most bank frauds following their investigation have shown that there's always collaboration, insider collaboration within banks where these frauds happen. And, and there was also, the, in addition to that, I was, I was going to say something he said, he said that um, in the past, most of these youngsters were not IC savvy, I, ICT savvy, but now they are. There's actually graduates who are championing these um, um, cyber crime right now. Wow. And he said the, the, um, he's attributing the increase to moral decadence and peer group pressure. He said most of these people mm. actually, their friends encourage mm -hmm. them. Mm. And when they arrest them, they find that most of the properties that they, they use are registered in their parents' names. Mm -hmm. And they, so many of them are, are actually being influenced by their peers. Moving on quickly now to Vanguard. This one is still not taken. Senate disagrees with FG and LC at TUC threatened shutdown. That's concerning the federal subsidy removal and the 5,000 Naira grant. Yoruba Nation, Afeniferi Ilano Modua, tackle DSS over extradition of um, Bigbo, <coughs> excuse me, reps to probe non implementation of FG's um, 774,000 youth empowerment jobs. Direct primaries, INEC ready once present ascends amended law, says Yakubu. Uh, experts disagree as FG says new national career takes off in April. Secession, Clark, Jagger, canvas restructuring for 2023 polls to avert more agitations. Okay. The 774,000. Yes, yeah, so, yes, have so the um, House of Reps moved a motion to probe the non implementation of the 774,000 jobs, as well as the, they also asked the committee in charge of Niger Data Affairs to probe. The, um, the, uh, the attempt to secure 250 million naira in the 2022 budget and the uh, omitted budgets for the Calabar Municipal and Odukwani Federal Constituency of um, Cross River State. Now, they are asking that most of the jobs since the president launched it have not been executed, and some people who have, who were, you know, uh, so called uh, employed for the job in order to alleviate poverty, of course, which was the the objective of creating the 774,000 jobs was not met, so they need a, a, a probe of it and a report back to the House. I agree with them. I think it's overdue. Okay, uh, there was a story I want to take in um, soon, but I'll take it a bit later. Let's move on to the Nigerian Tribune. Let's find a story of not taken. Secondary school students attack DPU in Ugun. National Assembly spends one billion naira yearly on futile construction review, says Clark. Samuel Olu presents the 1.39 trillion naira budget for 2022. My husband was killed like an animal, says the widow of the OAU MBA student. FJ lacks constitutional power to reject Lagos panel report on NSAS. 
and FGA max 190 billion era for 2022 consensus. All right, okay, story. So mm -hmm. the sad story of a divisional a DPO, divisional police officer, who is attached to Urban, Urban Toko um, Division. His name is S.P. Alimeke Ali Ignatus. He was attacked by secondary school students. So it wasn't like he was directly attacked. The school students from Egba High School and Ashero High School were fighting each other. So he went in on a peace mission to sort of like contain the um, situation, arrest, and was stoned by some of the students while his officers were also injured. The PRO, the police PRO officer, Abimbola Oyeyemi, confirmed the incident took place that the DPO was hit by stones, confirmed the students were actually throwing stones and other objects at themselves during the fight, and it just happened that them trying to contain the crisis mm -hmm. got in were also attacked. I, I think that we didn't need to do it. I think better ways to do these things. I think we should, it's, it's facilities to protect is, them. So yes. usually when a, a, a police officer is going to mm. do these kind of things, they should have all the, so uh, all the um, outfits, because then we need them to. We need them to. All the outfits to protect themselves from mm. being attacked like that should be provided for them. And they should also have like water disperse, um, stuff to disperse crowd without, but I'm not sure if this um, particular division had all that they need to ensure that they don't get harmed okay. trying to protect citizens of that so state. Sad. So right. sad. So um, the uh, Chief Edwin Clark has said that the National Assembly spends one billion every year amending the constitution and that they've been amending this constitution forever. That, you know, if we must um, restructure the country to reflect all the multiple ethnic, ethnic groups and size that we have, that all the agitations we are having, getting, uh, is because some areas do not feel satisfied, some areas feel marginalized, that we must restructure. And the president, calling out the APC, calling out the president that for the past five years showed lack of in, um, will to do the proper thing to, that nobody, no ethnic group will be a slave to any ethnic group. There's no predominant ethnic group in Nigeria. We must coexist and it must be done with equity and equality. Yeah. Okay, on that note, we end front page review. When we come back, go through the hot topic of the day. Stay with us, we'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Thanks for staying with us. So join us on the show is the publisher, author, and mindset stylist, Tewa Onosonya. She's here to talk about the exquisite Ladies of the Year Awards, Eloy Awards 2021, which coincidentally, Nima, Mariam, and Tokwe are nominees. Mm. Yay! Welcome to the show. Well, thank you for having you on the show. Thank you, thank you for having so, me. So for those who have no idea what Eloy Awards uh, means, what to do, could you give us a summary of what it means? And... Um, the kind of speakers we're expecting this year. This year. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for having me once again. The Eloy Awards is Exquisite Ladies of the Year yeah. Awards and yeah. Conference, actually. Mm -hmm. And um, this is our 13th year, by oh, the wow. way. Oh, yes, it has been a while. This mm -hmm. is our 13th edition. And um, so what we do is the Eloy Awards um, and Conference is about empowering women, sustaining women empowerment, and also celebrating women. Mm -hmm. The big thing is celebrating women. So the awards were started years ago because we thought, because we found that there weren't that many award ceremonies that were celebrating women, and women are doing exceptionally mm. well in different fields. Yeah, so we needed yeah. to push us right. on the oh, forefront. Right, yeah, right. so people know that, okay, women are doing this, yeah. I can do it as well right, as a right. woman. So that started in 2009, and it has since evolved into the Eloy Awards um, Foundation, mm. which is all about sustaining women empowerment. Oh, so we wanted to, when we started the foundation, we wanted to take the conversation away from, you know, just celebrating women and just having an award, mm. but actually do something about women empowerment to sustain it. Right. So move away from talks and go into action. action. That's oh. how the, uh, the foundation was formed. So what are some of the things the foundation has like? When you say action, what does Ooh, that mean? Action, action, action. So, so far, we started the foundation properly in 2019. And so far, we've empowered 40 women that have come onto the Eloy Sustainable Empowerment Program, wow. which runs for a year. 
and um, they have access to mentors, affordable finance grants. We gave 10 grants wow, out. Fantastic. One of them um, is going to be talking at the, at the conference. Well, actually, a few of them, a few of the alumni will be talking at the conference. One of them is the mushroom farmers. Do you know ah. that we grow mushrooms in yeah. Lagos? You know what? Yes. Lagos, yeah. Yes. I, I think when I went through your profile yes. that I saw that. Yes. I, was, I thought you were going to say like Josh yes. or something. Oh, man selling it Lagos. at Lagos. At the, at the Emi Bureau. Oh, yeah. And I was like, what edible do I do ones, because you know, you know, in Nigeria, mushrooms poisonous. will be, yeah, edible ones. She's mm. doing you know, really well. So oh, we've supported perfect. businesses like that. So mm. the aim is, um, we support women in MSMEs mm. so their businesses are thriving and mm. surviving. So it's not, you know, there's this huge stat right. that businesses fill between one to yeah, five years. Yeah, so we want to try to, you know, use our little, well, mm. I won't call it little, yeah. <laughs> use our platform support. to reduce that a right. bit mm -hmm. and support Fantastic. them as need be. Mm. So that's what we're about. So yeah. this right. year's theme, what's this year's theme about? This year's theme is collaboration. Look, I can't speak. <laughs> collaboration for sustainable empowerment. We're all about action, action, action. I mean, people who know me knows that when I say something, we take action on it. So we've been talking about sustaining women empowerment. This year, we want to talk about collaborating. Mm. We're not competitors. We're, we should be collaborating with one another to yeah. make things happen. Mm -hmm. you, doing, you being in the same business yeah. as me doesn't even mean we're competitors. Yeah. We can collaborate and then Absolutely. grow our businesses Absolutely. together. So we're homing on, on that fact to let people know that we should collaborate. When she wins, I win. Yes. When yeah. I win, yeah. you win. That's yeah. our hashtag, actually. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I really like, I like the vibe. I like what you're doing. Mm -hmm. And we've, we've, been, we've been, we've done this a few times. Yes. You know, you're supportive of yes. yes. the beginning. Yes. Yeah, I realize we're, we're, we're the same family. Yes. But um, mm -hmm. what I want to find out from you, though, is the conference part of it is yeah. still pretty new. Mm -hmm. And how did you pick the speakers? What should people right. look up to okay. when it comes to coming to that conference part of um, right of the, the Eloise. Yeah. So the conference is not actually new. We used mm. to do it, and then when we couldn't <coughs> do it, <laughs> <laughs> we didn't. <laughs> but we brought it back again, you know, because of the sustainable empowerment that we're trying to that we're pushing. So the conference this year theme sustainable um, collaboration for sustainable empowerment. And mm. every time we choose our speakers, mm. we always make sure that they resonate with the theme. Mm. So this year's theme theme is about collaboration. So we're having topics like how to collaborate. Um, collaborate, collaborate, um, how to collaborate with other people using your networks. Mm. We have leveraging your networks for collaboration. We mm. have networking for introverts because mm. there are people who are like, oh, I'm too shy to go too out. Tough. But then again, your business needs to grow, yes. so you need to go out there. So we're talking about that. We're talking about different systems that are available and women are not accessing. Mm. It's important that we know that there are facilities that could be as accessed if we if we have that information. Oh, okay. So we're talking about that. And then we're also talking, this one is very, very, um, um, I don't know what word to use, Personal. but I'm looking forward mm -hmm. to hearing this because I personally, and not that I'm blowing my own horn or anything, I support other women in terms of helping them do whatever it is they need to do so right. we're all growing together. So it's very important for us to know that and to do that for other people because younger people, or not necessarily younger people, but people that are not where we probably are, yeah. are looking for that help yeah. Yeah, to speak to someone. Yeah. So we have someone talking <laughs> about... Um, throwing the ladder down mm. to bring other women mm. up, Amazing. seeing as, you know, she's gotten to that point. Mm. So we want people to embrace this. Let's not just do lip service to yeah. women supporting mm. women yeah. and actually, you know, Support do, women. yeah, do it. So, so, so let, let me um, quickly ask, how do you choose the businesses that you support, the business owners that you, you your program supports? Support. How do you choose them? Right, so we get all of them to do a business pitch. Mm. And then because we're all about, we want to sustain your business, the foundation has to be right as well. So you have yeah. to be a registered business. Okay. You have to have, you know, maybe one or two staff. At least let's see that you're doing, doing something, something. Mm -hmm. and you have that doing drive. So we even get them to write a personal statement, mm. actually. Mm. So we know exactly what we're how working with. Yeah, are. how serious they are. Because mm. a lot of people go into business because it's a nice to have. <laughs> but if it's a nice to have, so you won't care if it succeeds or not. Right. Mm. So we're looking for people who want to really do succeed in their business. Because SMEs, at the economic, um, what's the Drivers word? Of the yeah, society. of the society. Right. So we choose them based on so that. So how do you how do you then determine the ca categories? Because I saw there's a he for she for category. The thinking, oh God, okay. So how do you um, <laughs> for the choose awards. the categories? Of the, uh, okay. The so every year we bring in new categories okay. and take out some. Yeah. And the whole aim of that is so that we're able to capture women in different sectors. Mm. So at least you know, next year could be a painter. It could be you know. This year we have interior designer. We've never had that. Ah. So I'm excited about that. The he for she, everyone's like, what's the he for she? What's the he for she? 
This is our third he for she. Okay. And the reason we chose that is because, yes, we're all about women empowerment. And remember that we can't work in, you know, in, in, without the men. Right. So, yes. And there are men that are advocating for women. That's, right. that's what the he for she yes, award right. is for. Okay. The, yeah, right. to recognize a man that advocates for women empowerment and advocates for, and you would see that in mm. some men, because their companies or their, their, um, their workplace has more women, not to, you know, not, me, more women than men, but at least has more, more women. women. Yeah, positions. exactly. Mm. So those are that's so those nominees. How do you choose the nominees? Do people have to vote in people? Yes, or how do you... people have to nominate, nominate people. Yes. A lawyer awards is an award that if you know me, I can't guarantee you winning. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. It's based on <laughs> it's based yeah. on votes and our criteria. Mm. So we have these five criteria that we look through every year. So, but before each nominee is nominated, mm. we send a list of categories out to the public. So mm. the public really does the nomination because how many people do I know? Right. And we don't want to be recycling the same, same people, people every mm. year. Right. That is what we really, really want to move away from because right. we found that a lot of, I mean, not that it's not good, but a lot of people recycle people. Yeah. And um, we want to move away. We're definitely, we've definitely moved away from that. So the public nominates people for the different categories and then we now pair them with the criteria. Criteria includes your accomplishment, your character, your integrity, leadership, indirect or, indi um, direct or indirect leadership, mm -hmm. and um, I think that's five. Um, yeah, those are the things we look at. And then the, the nomination, the nominees now go back out, and then people now start voting. Wow. And then when the votes come in, we look through the criteria again ah, with the list. vote just to be sure. Ah. Because, you know, someone can just go and pay someone and say, oh, yeah, every five hours, start voting me. Are you oh. for real? So you're supposed to actually get votes. Converse. We didn't know. You have told us how to start. Oh. Oh. Are you serious? Did you tell anybody? We did. Not we, did. we did. Oh, you did? Yeah, we did. I actually did. found out I was nominated on the siblings group when I said, <laughs> 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 But we should be reposting. <laughs> OK, anyway, no, we'll talk about that. Well, Ah, but what should we look for? When, when is the event? Days, what should we look yeah. for? Okay, yeah. it's tomorrow. It's tomorrow? Yes. Yes. Oh, so voting is over. Voting, mm. Oh, voting is oh, over here yeah, on the oh. 19th. Voting is over. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I kind of know there's some winners, but I don't know, you know, they don't even give me full because I can't right. keep a secret. Because yeah. so <laughs> if it's someone I know, I'll be like, ah, congratulations. Yeah. I'll be like, ah, you should come. <laughs> Something like that. But um, so tomorrow is our grand finale day, oh, you know, the day we've been working on all year. Um, the morning is the conference. And um, I say every woman in business and man should come to the mm. conference tomorrow because mm. it's power packed Excellent. with people giving in. You can't, I was talking to somebody and he was like, this is something you can't learn in school. Mm. You have to come out. I mean, yeah. we're talking about networking for introverts, which is a very, very serious thing because mm. a lot of women don't put themselves out oh, there. Yeah. And if you're not visible, you know, here. how Some are you going to do business? How's your career going to, even in yeah. your workplace, yeah. how's your yeah. career going to be? mind. Oh, exactly. So the conference is from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. Mm. And then we all go home. Oh, dress yes. up, hmm. come in the evening. Yes. Dress code is shine bright. Ah, shine <laughs> bright. Like yeah. 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 Cool. And we're celebrating women. When she oh. wins, you win. So oh, we're fantastic. all fantastic. Yeah. So um, thank you very much, Tara. Thank for you it was a pleasure for having, having you. For and well done. Doing. 13 years is a long wow. time. Wow. So I'm in Nigeria. Well thank done. God. Oh, I mean, did you deserve yeah. it? Oh, thank you. Thank you. So that's going to break. You. But those anybody can come. It's strictly by invitation, right? Yes, to the to the, the conference, conference, anybody can come. And okay. it's at the Four Points okay. by Sheraton. Okay. Okay. But the awards are strictly by of invitation. Course. We're yeah. celebrating our nominees. Yay. <laughs> All right. Let's go on a break. And Thank you very much. Guests. <laughs> so Eloy Awards is tomorrow. The conference, please be there. It's important. Yeah. The, the theme is collaboration. You mm -hmm. know, so how it's you can collaborate, collaborate with other women in your business. And if you're a business owner, it is an event. Learning. You should mm -hmm. go there to learn. Okay, let's go on a quick Break when we come back from Ottawa. It's Thursday, just in Thursday. So yes, many sir. hot, hot gist. Stay with us, we'll be right back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. for staying with us. So there is a video trending about a popular filmmaker, Amara, who had an intense conversation with her mother concerning her sexuality. In the video, according to her, 
said her mother emphasized that Amara is disgracing her among her women folk because of the choices she made concerning her sexuality. Now, many of you may have seen the video, others may not have. We're not going to show the video, but I'll give you a brief summary of what the real issue is. But joining us on this conversation is an award-winning TV and radio presenter, event host, voiceover artist, and actress, uh, Munya Zo Abebe, probably known as Moe Abebe in the building. Hey. I'm so excited to be here. Yeah, get to have it. <laughs> Those nails are beautiful. Thank you. Uh -huh. These nails have caused a lot of drama, <laughs> a lot of controversy, yes, but yes. But it's nice. It pops really, really nice. Thank you. Good to have you on the show. So, now, um, one of the hardest conversations to have, especially on your view, is this issue of sexuality. Mm -hmm. um, because there's issue of homosexuality, lesbianism, there are different ones now, all sorts of different types. I only know those two basics. <laughs> but um, it's a hard conversation because in our country, it's illegal. So many of people are scared to come out on their sexuality because it's 14 years if you do so. But we also know that it happens in the background. We know that this will exist in our society, whether we want to like it or not. So one of them, which is Amara, uh, she's, she's popular, and she had this conversation with her mother. We will not discuss the, the sexuality part because that is her identity that she has chosen. Our real conversation is having these hard conversations with your family. It's one thing that your friends know that this is, who, this is your choice and accept you for your choice. But how does a father or a mother accept your choice? That's the real conversation. Please join us on 081-270-536-870-913-907694. You can also send us messages on YouTube and on Facebook. We'll be happy to read your message. So let me come to you, Nima. Um, let me start with you on this. What are your thoughts on, on parents' reaction to their, to their children's sexuality, especially because in the modern times, it's almost like a, reali a realization that most families would be having this conversation in, in, in recent times. Hmm. So prior to this new um, um, modern sexuality issues, in my own time, I'm still a young person though, <laughs> the conversation was about uh, chastity, um, having a Don't get dating, pregnant. Don't get, when yeah. you have sex, in fact, my mom would know if somebody toasted you from the way you corner into the house. And, you know, <laughs> so I grew up quickly having two elder sisters and seeing my parents fight over it. In fact, the choice of person, mm. it would seem like a discrimination about ethnic, about status, or about religion in my home. So tough conversations like that happened in the house. And I was a younger person looking at my sisters and my parents battle it out. I made the choice to make my choice please my parents deliberately at 16. If it was something I knew would give them a headache, I know they bring them come. I don't even want to try it. Because I see how painful, you know, sometimes when my sisters go out, how they deal with the decisions and, you know, say, how, why would she not understand, you know? So I know, and I recently said to a younger girl, she had sex, and the family are Muslims, and the father fled up, and they almost kicked her out, and I had to counsel her. I said to her, you've done this. You can't blame your parents for reacting. Maturity is to expect them to react. You have to, you don't judge them, mm. just as you don't want to be judged because mm. you think you made a mistake. They have expectations of a child. They put mm. in everything to raise mm. up. Mm. They are shocked. Okay, let me, pause you, for, let me pause you for a second. Let me, I'll come to talk with first, I'll come to my... Um, so, she said sometimes, in, this, in the example you gave, it's a mistake. Mm -hmm. but, in that, but in the example that we're talking about, is a the choice they've made choice. for who they are. And the woman said, you're a sin. She said that um, when she's walking down the street, people are laughing at her because the of mother, the choices mm, the you have made. made. Mm. Now, when a mother says that to a child, especially in this kind of situation, what do you think, how do you think she could have handled it? I mean, child. was that the way she was handling it? Because based on what Nima said, listen, you should expect that reaction. Or she should, the mother should go higher than that. Um, for, for every action, there will be consequences. And in this day and age where everybody is being woke, I cannot deny my Christian faith. And there are many people that agree that this is normal, this is not abnormal. Um, this is what, some people were born like this, you cannot fight it. 
um, this is the way their wiring is and all of that. There are, there are people for and against. We know the country is um, against it. My religion is against it. I, I do not believe that we should attack a person, but we should correct whatever we feel is wrong. So we must separate, this is a good person doing something we don't like, but she's a good person doing something we don't like. And when you do, the only way you can overcome every challenge is to love. So it's a tough call. We grew up in a society where we like pointing fingers and parents who feel like my child has gotten pregnant is an embarrassment. Everybody now say, so now you born the picky way, no even marry before you get mm -hmm. there, that kind of thing. Oh, so you're the mother of the gay person, you're the mother of this um, non-conformist person. And we point fingers, and I don't think as a society that's the right action to take because every parent in that situation is already dealing with a lot. Mm. So the society itself is putting mm. more pressure. Do you think that woman is happy with, with her daughter? Okay. She's already going through a whole lot as a mother, trying to understand this right. is what my daughter is doing. I don't even know how to cope then. The society is now pointing fingers against okay, me. It's so, a combination so of let me, many so let me, things. Let me, let me be sure. So what you're saying now is that Mother one side. Yes. The issue now of the society. Yes. That those that she, the woman is lamenting about yes. is your problem. That, Let me come to Moe. We'll come to back to you. Moe, what are your initial thoughts on this? Now, I totally agree with everything that um, Tokla said. Um, I personally believe that the only way to handle an issue like this is with love. And that's both on the mother's side and also both on society's side. Mm. Um, I feel one sexuality, like you said, is actually what makes them a really, really huge part of themselves. And if that part of yourself is constantly being attacked, especially by someone like your parents, mm. life must be absolutely horrible for you. Do you know what I mean? Mm. And I, I can only imagine what she, like, you know, she's fully established. Everyone knows her. She's, she's a popular producer, like you said. She's, you know, been in the game for a mm. while. But just this one aspect of her life, her mother is willing to, you know, push her aside. Right. Well, if you think about it, I mean, listen, we are in 2021. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Reality check. Mm -hmm. These things are happening. Mm -hmm. Should parents start preparing their minds for the worst case scenario? Because mm -hmm. listen, as much as you choose to, I raise my children well, they are God-fearing, they read the Bible, we do this, we do video, everything, and they are Muslims, and this. There might be somewhere down the line where you're confronted with what Amara's mother is being confronted with. Mm -hmm. How do you therefore accept your child for who they are regardless of their sexuality. is a, a mother's, is a difficult decision. But whether you like it or not, some people just have to accept it because mm -hmm. there are other societies abroad where they are faced with this reality. It was painful, but many of them have accepted that this is who you are and be able to turn away from society and focus on you and that child. Nima, is that something women or mothers today should start? Okay, so for some, so for some um, topics, it's easy. For some, it's tough. And based on people's backgrounds, I would like to talk to Amara now, or someone like her. If you're different, you have to wait it out till you're understood. Mm. Wait, pause that statement again. <laughs> if you, you are different, to, you have to wait, wait it out, it out till you're understood. Till you're understood. Mm, interesting. You have to, before you say they're judging you, you have to wait till it is extremely visible and clear mm. that they're judging you. This mother has not disowned her child. In those days, we used to say, I disown you in don't society and all of that, and don't ever be related or associated with me. This mother is open mm. in a, in a mm. rebirth or change. Mm. She loves this child. It's only tough accepting who that, that identity is. Mm. So give her time. If, but if you can change for her sake, because you know me, I'm, <laughs> I'm totally against. You know? So... For, her, for mm. her now, she's the one who's put her mom out there. That's the way I see it. Mm. I am a child who, I did a lot of things to please my parents as part of my growing up. A lot of my decisions as a child, I hated anything that brought tears to my parents' eyes. I would never be caught at it. Mm. So that's the person I am. So it would be tough for someone like me to be on her side. Mm. My advice usually is wait it. I remember when I took the hijab, growing up in a community where... All my friends were not Muslims, and the Muslims there were not hijabites. And they found this change in 1999. Now, Nima, what is this now? Why is this, you know? Can I just do it a little bit and a little bit? I kept my friendships. Mm. I waited. Mm. I've not lost any friendship for mm. my identity. Let me define... So it's the same thing when you come home. Mm. If you cannot conform with a family's goal, you know, mm. every family have... Some people come from a very Christian background. They have their goal. Once you break out, you're different. You mm. have to... 
Now, let's define, let's define let's define weight. Weight is out could be lie to yourself. Mm. Weight is wait, hang it out. Weight could be weight weight is out means lie to your family of your true identity. Oh, no, no, weight is out could mean that um, be, deceit, be, 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 be deceitful. deceitful. No, with those no, around no, you, no. because you're not be, when, you, when, you, when you go for family gatherings, mm. you are regular um, Nima. Mm. When you're outside, you are now the choice mm. or different, mm. the different mm. Nima. That mm. could be deceit, deceitful. deceitful. Mm -hmm. I hate to use this example. I hate to use it, but Bob Risky is waiting it out. How? He shows up at family events, yes. even though he's different. And when he shows up at his father's house, he's his father's son, not Bob Risky. At his family's events. Now, your family, mm. you remember your roots, where you're from. You conform. You don't come there in a rebellion. You must accept me. I'm your child. Uh, whatever. You don't know what values and what your parents have done to, to establish those values and respect them. Mm. You see this? I must be happy. And when I'm happy, everybody must, you know, accept me. Meta mentality is selfish. Okay, let, so, let, let, let me pause you. She is saying, I will here. never go. She is mm -hmm. the one who is disowning. I listened to the video yesterday. Yeah. She is the one who is disowning the family and saying, I'll not until they again. call for me with love, right. I won't go there again. Let me you pause have to you. Wait till let they, me pause you. Let's go on a break. There's a lot that's been said. We'll define this weight properly. Mm. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Thanks for staying with us. So we're still discussing this video that went viral concerning Amara breaking the news of her sexuality to her mother. And before the break, Nima had talked about out of respect for the family in which you've been raised, you should wait out your choices until you are understood, which I thought was pretty um, heavy. Mm. Now, it's like we're not trying to define what does wait out mean? I mean, so you're not giving an example like a Bob Risky. We saw the pictures when he went to see his father. He looked like his regular self. Mm -hmm. Outside of social media, he's Bob Risky. Mm -hmm. And that, that to you is waiting out until they understand and accept him for who he is. Mm -hmm. But in your, let me come to you, Moe. What are your thoughts on this, on waiting it out? Um, my fear about waiting it out is that that means you're literally not living. Mm -hmm. You're waiting until your parents approve. And then what, to me personally, I feel, what's the point of being an adult if you can't make your choices. Mm. Do, you, like, mm. do you understand what I mean? So as an adult, you should make your choices. Now, are we also considering what this young lady, Amara, is going through? She said, I can't sleep. I'm high. My head is banging. She's also a child. So mm -hmm. if, I, if I were in her shoes, if the, if the whole world doesn't accept me, if the whole nation of Nigeria says, I am ostracized, mm -hmm. I don't want to be ostracized by my mother. By my mother, exactly. That's the last person I want exactly. to make me feel the same way. So, so it's, it's like being between the ocean and the deep blue sea, or I don't yeah. know what, the, what, that, what that word is about. But you see, for me, I think that everybody in this, everybody, every actor in this movie is in a tough position. And I feel that love must lead. Mm. Love must lead and love must lead because uh, when we have this conversation in other areas that are not this um, controversial, controversial, controversial yeah. we would say the adult should do the adulting thing. Mm -hmm. And the adult here is the mother. And that the mother should love. Whether you born cripulo, or you born deaf and dumb, or you born what you don't want to born, you, you born are criminal. born. Mm -hmm. Or you born criminal, you are born. You must love what you have born. Mm. And then you pray God will help you to carry your cross. Mm. Now, from the perspective, that's me from the, and, and I, I, my first point was to do with the society. We should stop pointing fingers. Everybody, every, every man with Inketu, we are all working towards being better versions of ourselves. Mm -hmm. Let's not put more coal on something that's already very hot. Then the mother, you are the most, um, you, are the, you are the most adult in this relationship. Yep. And you are wiser, basically meant to be wiser because of the years you've had on earth. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't transfer the aggression you're receiving from the society on a child who's already going through a whole lot. Mm -hmm. Lead with love and face God. Mm -hmm. Then, Let's deal with the child in this situation. I'm not like Nima. I, I'm not, I love and respect my parents. I know that I carry a huge responsibility as an only child, but I did not do everything because of what my parents said. My parents, parents. No, my parents gave me, they always raised me with that idea of like 
find your own path, yep. you know. And I would always have that conversation. Marry my husband, they, they were, he's a dope man. They did not want, they wanted a, somebody they could talk to. And I had to convince them of why it made sense. So if I was having to wait until whatever they say, I probably wouldn't be doing what I'm doing now. So as an adult, you need to make adult decisions. Mm -hmm. But you also need to be sensitive to the fact that you are carrying a name, you are born from a family, and you must respect them. So it's finding that balance that the girl needs yes. to understand how mm. to do it. There are things that you do that you will not rub into your father's face. There are people mm -hmm. that smoke and exactly. drink, and they don't do it in front of their parents. Mm -hmm. you know, because it's not because they are being hypocritical. It's because they just feel that so, my parents can, I, out of respect for these Now people, you're going to end them and say, that is no, exactly what saying, is, is that finding, that's, I, 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 I took it in balance. hierarchy yeah. of everybody. Right. That when you, now, when you realize, I won't do this thing in front of them, because I don't understand, I know that they will not accept but if what your father doing, knows you, are, you, you, you smoke, mm. he has heard you smoke. Everybody yes. has told him he smokes. I know smoke. that because you respect me, you don't do it in front of me. But he knows you are smoking. Yes. So he already knows. Yes. So it's still disrespectful that you are smoking because he's aware that you're smoking. So you see, the thing is, we're using an example of that. But the truth is, there are many areas of our lives where we, we do things for our own peace of mind, but we don't do it in... In, in a place outside because we feel like it is not acceptable there. Then yeah. the last point I want to make before we, you jump away from me is, why must we bring everything to social media, guys? Like, mm, what exactly yeah. is the use of this? Yeah. Why did you record yourself crying and then saying, I'm not saying, and then you put it, and then you call and record the conversation of your mom mm. and put it online. That's a different conversation, Tokwe, because that, that, that's the that's thing. I hear you, world. but that's mm. a new world. Yes. That's so the new I world. I was going to talk about the consequence of choices. Yeah. Whatever place you are, whether you want to please and make parents happy, or you want to do, take decisions part. and mm -hmm. say, you know, I'm not going to conform with conventions, I'm unconventional, I'm, you know, whatever, it's a choice. Yeah. Mm. And it comes with some consequences. Being an adult is dealing with the consequences. Mm -hmm. Amongst five children, I chose to do, please, study to please, career choice, this, that, that. But I found myself by grace in areas that I love. I'm on TV. I wanted to be on TV. My parents mm. didn't understand it, but they accepted it when I finally ended up on TV because they know how responsible each other was. Never one day an objection. So I chose it. I live with it. I love my consequences. It didn't conform with my friends, so I was judged by friends who thought, ah, waiting, and you know they do anything different. You don't want to go out until your parents approve of it. Ah, ah. But it was a choice, and I would boldly say to my friend, I don't miss it all. I'm happy with where the choice, the choice has led me. Mm. So she, as, a, as an adult, the big, being an adult is accepting that the consequence that comes with this choice, I will take. Mm. And I will still be my mother's daughter. And not being hurtful of that exactly. consequence yes. because you have prepared your mind you yes. and this is a reaction. a strange thing. Mm. You who married an Edo man, we know your parents would have been shocked, but it is strange to them. And there's a side of... But everyday conversation, you're ready for that. Mm -hmm. So it's a choice, but you're still your mother's daughter. Mm -hmm. That has not made you forget your link to her. Yeah. So what I would expect of her is be in service of your mother, even convince to, them, to, yes, yeah. keep without on being, them accepting keep on loving. you. Keep on loving. So you give what you're asking. Mm. I'm in a situation mm. where I don't understand. I don't want to go deep with something I'm dealing with. But the way I have done it is to leave my responsibilities. On Sunday, I was talking to a mentee. She has to deal with a marriage situation of being different. Mm. And I've told her, I said, no matter what hostilities you see on ground, there are duties that you hold yes. to that family. Be responsible. So your duties to that family don't fail one minute. If it doesn't count in the family, it will count to your creator. Mm -hmm. And it will come around to count for you eventually. Mm. It took a long time. It was almost an hour mm. conversation because I was expecting her, and she, you know, she kept having, well, how do I become this? this I said, it's the hard way. Mm. For someone like this lady, it's the hard way. There's no mm. simple shortcut to it. Right, so, just wake you up said, give what you ask. I'll come to you, Moe. Let me take this call. Uh, I think I have a call. Good morning, are you there, Madam Moa? Good morning, ma. Good morning, you're live. Mm. Go ahead, please. I'm a first time caller. Welcome, Welcome to the show, to the show. Yvonne. Oh, good morning. I've been trying to call you guys for ages now. Oh. Thanks. Thanks for reaching out. Well, well done. I, I, I totally agree with what Tope is saying. You know, as a parent, we, we, we have an expectation. There's something that we are expecting. There's no mother that will want to see her child behaving otherwise. But like, like Tokpe says, sometimes the society have a way of, as in, 
adding as in adding more pressure on us because mm -hmm. of what our children are, are going through. So if the society will get it right, you know the mother is now reacting based on what people are saying to her. That's mm -hmm. that's why why she's reacting. And that doesn't mean that she doesn't love her 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 child. You know? So it's the society now that is controlling what she's doing. Okay, thank you very much, Yvonne. Let me, we're going to break. Yvonne, uh, she's still there. <laughs> you said give, give what you're asking, which I thought was really profound from what Sima yeah. said. How does a young lady like that give to her mother what, what she's asking? She's asking your mother to love me un unconditionally. Mm -hmm. I, I, feel, I feel like it's, it's easier said than done. Mm. Because if, if we go back and we even watch the video, she did say that her mother referred to her as a sin. Mm. I, I cannot imagine my mother calling me that. Like, I, I don't think I would mm. be able to actually face her again. Mm. So I also feel like it's, it's easier to say, oh yes, give love. But when someone is hating you, yeah. when someone is, is literally throwing words at yeah. you that definitely equal hate, so, so, it's Nima, gonna that, be hard that, that, to that's show That's a point that's important. Mm. Mira, those are heavy words. Let me go on a break. I have to go on a break. When we come back, we continue this conversation. Stay with us, we'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Staying with us, so we're still discussing this issue, um, mm. reacting to society. Let, now, let's focus on society. So, the woman says people laugh at her. How can society, how can we educate ourselves in society to support people and not condemn them? Before we do that, let's take a few comments and messages. Well, Oladidi says she gave birth to a girl, she raised up a, a girl, she now became a grown woman and comes back home to tell her mom she's a man. And you want the mother to say, that's fine, my son. <laughs> For possible, Rara. That's you know, just a but, wait, wait, says, but, but nonetheless, the media um, is the most evil. You don't have to travel abroad to know these things or be exposed to them. You don't see them everywhere. But when a woman, when a mother says you are seen, that's some heavy, heavy words. Okay, so yeah, that was when we were before we went on the break. And the truth is, many of us have seen the way our parents used to be. Parents lash out mm -hmm. when they are they curse. Some parents curse. Mm -hmm. I'm grateful to God that my parents never cursed. I they did not grow up in that environment. Yes, but some parents curse you out as a child. But that is something that I feel we need to correct. Yes, mm -hmm. and we are talking about it. We, we say it on the show. We, we say we discuss it all the time. So that's still, like we, we should excuse people. them for yeah, doing that. But we, yes, them. what they've done is wrong. We talk about that's so abuse. I'm We're saying wrong. that if, if if some parents would curse, some parents would hurt, some parents would scream. We've seen parents that throughout a pregnant child, a pregnant teenage child, child. and abandon the child because you are an embarrassment to this mm -hmm. family. Which is why I said, the first thing we expect all parents to do is, regardless of whatever your child does, you have an assignment to love your the child. child. Mm -hmm. Whichever way, if the child comes out with one eye, or comes out and says he's a man, or says he's a woman, you have an assignment to love. It is not comfortable, but you do horrible mm -hmm. things and God loves you. Mm -hmm. So you must take, every parent must find it in themselves to find what is lovable about that mm. child, regardless of what the child does. Let me take does. this call from Chiyere. Chiyere, are you there? That space now, we'll address that one. Chiyere, are you there? How? You're live. Yes, Go ahead, please. Good morning, how? Good morning. Hey? Yes, hey, you're live. Go ahead, please. Okay. What I'm trying to say is that hey, we're getting the topic on ground. Hello? Please listen yes, to I'm me, here. not the TV. Good morning. Good morning, How? You're okay. listening to the television. Listen to me, please. Go ahead. All right. All right. Okay, my contribution is that every family has an established norms and values. And I think when we grew up in a family that already has an established norms and values as a child, and at the time we become an adult, we should be able to show consideration when making choices and when making decisions that will affect those established norms and values already existing in that family even before we were born. Now, regarding this issue on ground, 
the lady made a choice as an adult. But whatever choice he or she is making, she should show consideration to the feelings of others. That's what makes her a human. She should be able to put the feelings of people around him and the reputation of the family where she's coming from into consideration. Chiyere, Chiyere, can, 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 can they also put her feelings into consideration? There are two sides. Yes. Two sides. So yes. how would they also put her own... Yes, they will put her feelings into consideration by understanding the part she's trying to talk. Okay. But then... Oh, sugar. We lost that call. Yeah, no, go ahead, Moyeli. No, I'm still, oh, still there. Still there. I think we're, we're having issues with connect. So, so yeah, Chin Chime was saying that they should, should understand. Uh -huh. I mean, no, she should understand and uh -huh. uh, put their feelings into yes, consideration. Yes. And we're also saying, hey, you two, she's, this is a young woman who feels I am living in, in darkness. Uh -huh. I want people to accept me for who oh, I, I am. am. I want to be free. From this prison, mm -hmm. and I want the first thing to accept me should be my family. So, shouldn't the family say, Okay, I don't like your choice, but I accept you for who you are? You are mm -hmm. my daughter. Yes, shouldn't that be how do we therefore begin to help parents, mothers out there to accept their children for whatever choices? Maybe you don't like it, but mm -hmm. at some point, you have to just yeah, live with it. Love exactly, okay. What she said. Ac accepting a different child sometimes. Let me use the example of a criminally inclined child, okay. A child that you've done everything, you know, some people even take to deliverance. The child to remove the evil spirit of criminality. And then the child chooses that path, is just inclined towards that path. As a parent, you love that child. But you cannot stop the society from happening to the child if the mm -hmm. consequence of his action leads, ends in maximum prison, for mm -hmm. instance. Mm -hmm. You know? Mm. Some people can't deal with peer pressure, they end up in courtism. It leads to death. It leads to death by hanging. There's a consequence. The mother would love the child to the end of the consequence. Mm. It doesn't make the mother love the it child. Mm -hmm. It doesn't change the in consequence. It doesn't change the consequence. Yes. You know? Mm. So do you remember Iriti Doyle? This? The mother, the daughter, uh -huh. um, um, she posted, did everything. She, she um, did the business. She did the business, business with people. Pro and to, to so the mother comes and says, I'm and not disclaimer. part of this. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. Put out a disclaimer. Now, it doesn't mean she doesn't love her child. No. But, but she did that. But Now, but did she do that for society? Or on principle, because that's what we're saying about society is laughing at you me that ah, my daughter is defrauding everybody. Yeah. Society is any, any tea on she. So no, I'm saying hey, that wait, I'm, I'm trying to I'm, I'm trying to clarify the rationale. Mm -hmm. What are we I doing? I personally yeah. think that that move was <coughs> in a sense done for society. Mm -hmm. um, that was just like that was what society expected her to do, and that's what she did, did. do. Now you know when you were speaking about you know criminals and how mm -hmm. their mothers were still love them. Mm -hmm. That just reminds me of Narcos. Um, which is all about, you know, Pablo Escobar mm -hmm. and, and um, what's his name? The uh, guy who built the tunnel, can't remember his name now. Mm -hmm. um, Chapo, yes. Mm -hmm. If there's one thing that we've oh, noticed Chapo. about these criminals, yeah, they were extremely close to their mothers. Mm. Their mothers didn't disown them. Mm. Yes, yes, all of them, they ended in, up they in maximum prison. Mm -hmm. or, but, but in a sense, I feel like their mothers did what mm. I expect every mother to do, mm. love, mm. which was love. Mm. So no mm. matter what... She deserves love. And, and, I, and I think, I think that's the most call. important think, message. Moe, are you there? Thanks drop. for calling. Moe. Hello, Moe, you're there. See, a thank you for the great job you all are doing. May the Lord thank continue you. to bless you. Thank you. Quickly, my contribution this morning. I seem to extreme with, um, should I say, with parents and children. And this is it. The first analogy is, there are parents that have given birth to children that they have all done well in life and they are proud of. Mm -hmm. And there are some parents that have given birth to some children and some are doing well, some are not. Mm -hmm. Some have even given birth to children that all of them are not doing well at all. Mm -hmm. I pray God will give us good children Amen. in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now, what I want to say is, as parents, we correct our children, we rebuke them when they do things that are wrong. That does not mean we do not love them. According to Sister Lima, she said something. Every family <coughs> has their norms. They have what they represent and what they stand for. And every society, there are things that are acceptable in every society. And in some societies, these things are not acceptable. So to the mother, I will say to her that she should, she should be hopeful. Like she called her daughter a sin. 
People, someone that is good today can be bad tomorrow. Someone that mm -hmm. is bad today can be good tomorrow. So there is still hope. And I want her to be hopeful about this, this lady. And to every parent out there, I think also, even to we children, I think we shouldn't see rebuke or correction as a way of, I'm no, not being no, loved. Someone no. once said something, no matter the way you are being rebuked or you are being disciplined, take the discipline. Forget the way. Is it ash? Is it, it just take the good right. part of it. Thank you, Moe. I, 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 I love her point, but well, let sir. us remember. You see, when you say rebuke, Nah. You're talking, in this situation, are you? This is a choice I have made. It's like I have chosen to be a carpenter. Please Accept no. me. No you're, make, you're making you it look change. as if it's a crime. She didn't commit a crime, oh. no. no. She has a what? It's a crime. It's a crime. Actually, it's a crime. It's a crime. It's a crime. But I'm just trying to say that. How do we find that middle ground where somebody's so, sexuality shouldn't be a no, crime? Boyer, in this in this in, in, in this day day and age we have microwave everything. Want everything to happen fast. They did not accept me. I go viral. They did not do this thing. I I will go online and talk about it. We yes. we we are losing the uh, the chances of waiting. The waiting game is a long drawn game. Oh, bless you. But it's important for us to be patient. In marriage, you say ah, I, if my in law did not accept me, so um, they are harassing mm. me. Oh, my husband is doing this, so I'm going. Yeah. We we are moving to that stage where we are yeah. losing the the the. No the, the Patience, the mm. resilience of mm. waiting. Mm. We must wait. As parents, we must wait. As a child, you must wait. They might not get it, but if you keep on waiting and you keep on loving, mm. then you cannot lose when you wait oh, and I you love. love. No, you love can't that. lose. Wait, so we must nice. push those two. I love. I, like I think we can wrap up on that. I think yeah. good because resilience, waiting, waiting. I mean, I mean, it, as, it was very simple that Nima said it, but. At the end of the day, even in marriage, you have to wait. Mm -hmm. You work it out. Yeah, mm -hmm. there's some deal. Yeah. You, you, marry, you marry a woman or a man that you just have some habits. That you're like, what in the world is this? But mm -hmm. you just continue to wait in it out. Time, it looks in time eventually. So in this situation, on both sides, you wait, wait and love. To, your, to your family understands. And mothers too, yes, you don't like it, but you wait to, you, you know, have mm -hmm. some kind of opening to this mm -hmm. lifestyle. But the person as a human being should be loved at the end of the day. Yes. Mm -hmm. well, let, me, let me let you have a final word on this before we wrap up. Yeah, like with pretty much everything that you did say, um, I definitely agree. Um, we are a bit impatient mm. nowadays. Yeah. Like, you know, even when we're talking about marriage, mm. when we're talking about, you know, choosing a partner, and then even now getting your family to accept your choice of partner. Um, but nonetheless, I feel like the major, major thing is mm. on both sides, Verbal abuse goes hmm. such a long way, right. you know, and to me personally, I can sort of not necessarily relate, but I, I don't like being, verbal you know, abuse. verbally abused. I, I cannot imagine my mom calling me a sin. That will affect my confidence mm. completely. Mm. So I feel like that's what she is, in a sense, going right. through right, right about now. And that she just and, but, yeah. for, but yes, my advice to her is that she should just... Wait it out. Okay. And the mother too. And serve her mom. And the mother too. And let her mother also. to the benefit of having a daughter. No. She should also equally just be, be, be a little bit more open. That's, mm -hmm. that's for her mother. Yes. And let her mother be a little bit more okay. open. Okay, at the end of the day, love must conquer all. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's all we can take on this segment. When we come back, we move on to a whole other topic. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. To stay with us, so we're moving on to Moe's Moe Baby's ranting on social media. <laughs> she was ranting about different different things. <laughs> I mean, there, there, there are quite a few of them, but we'll take a, a couple. So the first one was about renting a space in Lagos State that um, landlords are asking. I assume that you're you're being um, sponsored by either your sugar daddy or if you can afford it. Could you share your experience with us and then let's take it. Let's have a conversation. It this. has been absolute hell. First of all, if you're a single, famous woman, yes. it's going to be hard to get a place out here in Lagos because I feel they, they think if you're not married, maybe you're not responsible. Mm. Um, then um, if you're now single and famous 
and also a woman, they think maybe you're promiscuous. Mm. Um, they also think that maybe you'll be doing loads of parties and events in their <laughs> property. And then the one that totally blew my mind, which you made mention yeah. of, was, oh, you must have a, some sort of sponsor, somebody that's sponsoring your lifestyle. So what about if things don't work out mm -hmm. within this year? You're not going to renew. That. You know, Meanwhile, is that year. even legal? I mean, is no, that no, even no, is no, that no. even right? Not do legal. <laughs> you won't have anything to say. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so, what are your thoughts on this? What are you, so, for for me, these are realities that mm. you know investors have to deal with when it comes to property. Women who front or they come in with a partner and then they can't deal, continue to maintain the lifestyle, mm. and you have already committed to that. So, some realities. You you talked about um, sponsors. Mm -hmm. In this business, have you not seen women who, that's, the, that's their the, uh, small girl big god? Of course, uh -huh. but that's not my story. No, so the therefore, generalization is wrong. <laughs> but yes. it's happening. But it's happening. So if it's happening, how do we protect people like Moe and other single, successful, famous women who are trying to get a place in Lagos? She should be waiting patiently. <laughs> oh, I, I should be waiting. <laughs> <laughs> so I will be homeless. Until, until she's at her stool. No, no, no. <laughs> but, but, so, I mean, so, the, so the reality is the that um, the, the investor doesn't want their property to get misused. Mm -hmm. The investor doesn't... Pro profiling, this is the negative side of profiling, but there is a need for profiling mm -hmm. because if you don't create a profile, you would fall into... You, you are not learning from previous experience. And as human beings, we are wired to learn from previous experiences. If my neighbor's house got burnt because they turned the, the house into a meth lab, if I see two young boys that look funky coming to rent my house, Profiling will make me say, let me check. Maybe my neighbor's house got boggled because EFCC came there and raided the place and seized, and closed down the, the house. So, so shouldn't I see there be boys, proper so, measures? To so what, if, if we want to prevent negative profiling, we need to create a system that provides checks and balance that mm -hmm. I can run a background check on this person yes. mm -hmm. without, profi without negatively profiling her. Physically profiling her. Yes. I can run, a, there's a structure that um, I can use to check her credit. I can um, have a background check confirm her account to know she has a job. Those things are not bad. It's just that we, it, many Nigerians feel like, why would you ask her to have a job? If I don't have a job, does that mean I cannot rent her house? Yes. But I think, if you don't have a job, you cannot rent a house because like, the owner of the house is not a charity business. I like so, how you said and you've stressed having a job. And I feel that that should be the requirement, mm -hmm. not my marital status. Exactly. Not whether I have kids, uh, not whether I'm but married. Exactly. It doesn't make Papa sense. Exactly. That lifestyle can be a problem. No, the but what I'm saying is I can pay. She means to pay your rent. It's to pay your rent. No, 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 no. The other thing, too. Like, no, when, no. when you, if you, if you rent my house, ah, yeah. you cannot start. Um, you cannot turn my house into a, a, a cooking business place. Oh, you yeah, cannot turn yeah. my house. Like, there's some things, that are basic things Those that we say. Those are your parties. contracts. Yes, you mm -hmm. must have. So what I believe is, the challenge is because as a society, we don't have systems that protect the landlord. We don't have, um, our ju judiciary system is not very effective. It's not fast. It's not it's fast. Effective. So the landlord has to now find a way to protect himself. And it is wrong. So it, to prevent... <laughs> Uh, yeah, people right. from like um, Moe facing, um, uh, facing this challenge, and to prevent the landlord also from having to be vetting, 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 the government is going to provide systems in place, and that's the, is the lack of those systems that is making us get into this space to self -help. entirely. To so, self help. So you well, can't blame a, a, a landlord who has a building uh, and knows that the clause of compensation in his, contra in his uh, contract to you might not even be enforced. Abby. It might be running from court to court and looking for you everywhere for I can address. blame the landlord for discriminating against I me. I can blame, blame the landlord for discriminating. For discriminating. Absolutely. Property managers will give um, an incidence, um, sorry, an acquittance form. That's yes. what I call it. Yes. And then you give us, pre you preload your information ahead of time, voluntarily. Mm -hmm. We check. Some people do interviews. They call the a number of families that the landlord can take. Maybe he's building. Like in my house, you're not allowed to, allowed to use the uh, um, traditional method of pounding. You can't. I don't want to hear bang, bang, and mm. I don't want to see your generators on the balcony. So it's pre done in the well, contract. Well, let me say something. If we discriminate picture. one, there's, there's people that don't take Igbos. Yes. That's discrimination. That's, yeah. Yeah. So the point is, so how do we then for oh, define... Yeah. I've gotten that. So, how, 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 how do we bring that? <laughs> so that's a problem. Because my mother has had all her... The most well, aside from this addition that left her house, all the, the tenants were Igbos, and they're fantastic. Like, I don't even know. Fantastic. Where, so where so, so the point I'm trying to make is that if we discriminate a single lady, mm -hmm. we discriminate on tribe, mm -hmm. we discriminate on religion. We so we should stop discrimination. I have had two sets of laws. The very first set of Igbos that lived with me made my life a living hell for living in the same building with them. But I have amazing 
people come from neighbors. Now. Yeah. In fact, we check up on each other, we yeah. follow each other on Instagram, and we do things yeah. carefully for each other's peace of mind. So, for everybody, their experience, mm. Mm -hmm. whatever they, you know, based on that experience initially, the building was empty for two years. Because I live in a neighbor community, and those are the people who will come and rent my building. Yeah. So I fact checked every family to see if you are <laughs> a normal person. Because I don't want to generalize. I have people, friends, who are doing amazing, but they own their building. And everybody that comes to build, to rent, it seems like they want to b destroy the building that they're living yeah. in. Mm. Till I found that family, I so even prayed about it. So <laughs> to avoid <laughs> young people so or single women, because mm. this, this is really what, no it's just one really. category of people. But there are yeah. so many categories of people that mm -hmm. are being discriminated They're by being landlords. Discriminated. But you know what? Because Moe is single. She's, she's successful and she's evil. Famous. So like there are many, oh, many yeah. 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 you tick all the boxes. <laughs> you tick all the boxes. And it is extremely wrong because, and, and you know, that generally there's even the one of you, they don't expect a woman to rent a house by herself in Lagos. I, I don't get know. it. Why? Why? <laughs> and I used to be, and the truth is I used to be in that space. I feel like if you're, if you're, if you're a woman, find someone to stay with, don't go and rent your house alone. But as I got older, and I've spoken to many other mature women, I realized that people need their space. Like, and it's yeah. not a crime my for you to a, a mature woman and to live alone. It's no. not. So, so you, finally, you finally got a place, a right? Girl. You finally got a place. Not yet. Can you imagine? Honestly. I mean, I've been searching, like, I've been searching for we who said it. Going to be why is it my landlord's business? I have. Why is it my business? Why is it their I business? I don't need it. You know, you know, you know, exactly, Jared. Don't mind him. But this your auntie, you never finish your controversy. This your Ekana. Well, yeah. part of it. I hear don't that. Don't ask that question. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I heard me wait. I heard. She wears a tattoo, not one. Oh God. So Lala's just looking at her like this, like him. This is But I'm in the entertainment industry. This is how, like, this is how I. See, imagine you go for profiling and you you go for interviews and you have like a green air, your hair is green, your nails are green, and the landlord will have. Mm. So wait, when your parents guys get to their house, did you take these nails? Yes. Are you laughing? But wait, wait, wait. Why am I being profiled because of my nails or how I look? What of your I, oh, what it, of it, it doesn't make See? any sense. Interesting. To me. Listen, 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 listen. This goes back to the conversation we were having earlier. The judging. Concerning the judging. Why? You see, listen. So should she be waiting it out? Do you know, I, I mean, I'll be squatting you know, you know the crazy it. thing about this whole thing. Mm -hmm. I find that it's quite hilarious how I sp I've spoken to a few like maybe younger landlords and mm -hmm. they've said that they've actually had more issues with married couples yeah, than yeah, singles. You see, you see so it's almost like yeah, so where do we you, win? <laughs> they're quiet now. They can't talk again. See? No. <laughs> see? But you see, no. you see. Okay, so if we were to advise Moe as a sister, okay, you want to go and get land. You want, I mean, you want to go and get um, house. Uh, a house, a property. She remove the nails. Remove the nails. Remove the nails. I should wear it. Yeah, yeah. No, is she, man. No, no remove. Man. Listen, Nima, 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 wait. Here, 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 well. If we ask her, because the same thing, I want you to put this scenario, like she's going to go and see her mother and say, Mommy, um, this is my choice of sexuality. It's the same thing. Are we saying remove your earrings, mm -hmm. remove your nails, mm -hmm. wear uh, normal hair, mm -hmm. and dress, my, you know, with a nice gown? No, I'm just saying, like. <laughs> <laughs> so, sure. is that what it's you're sure. telling <laughs> This woman, oh, this young woman who has made a choice <laughs> to go and meet her mother, is that what we're asking her to do? They be deceptive. So when no, deceive don't be yourself. They, they call it, not, don't, don't be call who it you are. Right? Don't come and meet me. Don't call it deception. We call it emotional intelligence, understanding how to behave in the but right place at the right time. But I'm already a famous person, and mm. this is what I look like. I think I'm actually a fraud. I'm actually being fraudulent if, if I come to that. you and I start wearing God bless you. Uh, bring a husband that everybody knows exactly. I don't have. Come on. Are you going to marry now? I don't hey, want to. Yes. So you see, <laughs> oh, this, this, this conversation, so this is the reality. Oh, That's God. what Amara is saying in the video. Mm. This is who I am. Mm. Accept no, me for who I am. Don't join the issue. Don't join the issue. Don't join the issue. <laughs> no, 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 don't join the issue. Let's deal with this one. This is a major issue and it is bad. Let's call it speed is speed. It is bad for us to negatively profile. It's, it, we can link it to answers. You see any young boy sagging jeans, you say it's yahoo, yahoo. Any young boy with dreadlocks is yahoo, yahoo. This is the major issue that we need to deal with. Yes, we profile to protect ourselves, but we must also not but profile in a way that makes people look bad. Sometimes. Yes. So, Just yesterday, I sat in traffic at Tijora and there was a boy in traffic trying to get something from a car, mm. I think. And he wore his pants sagging. I could see his underpants clearly, and I could see his skin. 
I said, this one is on drugs. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> I hit my bags, my phones immediately. Mm. I knew I was at risk. Profiling is security sometimes, mm. you know, and mm. we can't blame these agencies for doing what they do. I think the people who feel that they're in, in, in this most times need to, like I said, wait it out. Yes. Or do more. Do more to show. Out, do yes. more to show my that is, you're my responsible. Is do more to show. Like, yeah. Wait, now do, do more to show. show that you're responsible. Yes. So for instance, listen. If I go at you say, what will happen? Wait. <laughs> <laughs> you, you have a landlord and you take your time. Approach that landlord and say, please, I know what you're thinking, but this is who I am. And I can do more to show you that I'm who I am. I'm a credible person. I'm credit worthy. I am, you know, trustworthy. I'm everything worthy. Mm -hmm. I can take care of your building. Even I'm the landlord. Let's no, yes, 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 act as if I'm the landlord. You're, talk, mm. you're, you're, you're talking to me. Yes. I'm looking at your hair. Yeah. Okay. I'm a, uh, I'm a popular a person, famous <laughs> person. Yes. I know you're looking at me and thinking I'm single, but I'm single and responsible. I am bank worthy, credit worthy, trust worthy, everything worthy. <laughs> I can manage your building. And I'm, my lifestyle is not, your building is not at any Madam. risk. You see, okay. all these your nails that you carry, eh? Yeah. Already shows me that you have all sort of friends More that will come into my house. All the, my house will be littered with acrylic. Out of 10, mm. you'll find a different person. For, for me, I might just be the one to understand her and say, okay, mm. I'd mm. like to have a neighbor I like strongly you. believe that, too. I strongly, yeah. I strongly so you're still, believe that. So if you're a landlord and you don't mind uh, a tenant like this, please let us know. We'll no, it's okay, too. Landlords on the island. island. On the island, please. Yeah. Let yeah. So but but to another part that we should talk about is, for some people, based on their jobs, they would come back home late. And it doesn't mean they are irresponsible. Landlord will lock you aside this semester. You know, no. it's it's that's it's not that's not in lucky and not in lucky phase Because what if it's a doctor? <laughs> because sometimes you just say that because of entertainment industry. So that's why you have to pitch. Legitimately, entertainment industries tend to hang out late. They mm -hmm. have events. But doctors too hang out mm -hmm. late because they yeah. have to work late. Mm -hmm. exactly. So let's not just cast everybody that into one net. Into it's one net. Mm -hmm. It is wrong. And we must be more open to what we can say. Your man will say, if you close your eye for evil people good, to pass, good, uh, good people will pass and you will miss them yes, as well. So yes. we must be more open as a society, mm -hmm. leading with love. But, but I, have to, I have to touch on this comedian's wife, um, Alibaba's wife. Mm. Oh, okay. I heard, did you oh, hear? Basket Man's wife? Was it Basket oh, Man's wife? Was it, was one, one of the comedians. About the nails. Wife. Yes. yes. Are you want to go there? I, she was, like, she was saying that it's, it's not hygienic because you can't clean the needful. You, <laughs> you can't wash. You can't wash. You can't wash your bum bum. You can't do any of those things. Now it's this awesome. is such a misconception. Right. You know, I, 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 like, I wish you guys could go on my stories and see that I posted a video where a doctor said how to actually wash your anyway. lady parts, yeah. and your nails in no way have nothing to do with that. Now let me let me let me let me, let me build on that. I don't do my nails. My mom passed recently and I had to do my nails. Unfortunately, this girl did it so well. Mm -hmm. It lasted four weeks and mm -hmm. I was dread. I'm like, I can't wait to get this stuff out of it. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm still going through the pain. So I want to understand how is it? How used to you, it already. I'm very used to it. How do you do the needful? I want to know. Like the, washing, doesn't it enter cooking, the nails? Doesn't it, it doesn't. Yes, I do. You cook. I no, you do. can't cook. There's no I way. Do. I do. Are you wearing earrings? That's not a problem. I, I actually do cook, and I even have a catering company. Can you well. remove your earrings well, yourself? Yes, I can. Can you remove this now? Mm -hmm. Is it lie? Ah. I'm very used to it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I couldn't wear my earring. Like, I could be telling you to come. Yeah, yeah. You so difficult. So, I got to get used to it. Yes, you do. So, that's me understanding. Yes, that's a bit of So, so yeah. therefore, a landlord, so you are a mother or you're a landlord and you don't understand the nails. Mm -hmm. But you're not asking, ah, Madam, can you clean the house? Can you, can you, house? Can you sweep? Mm -hmm. Ask questions. Can you do the What the, the, the woman shows she can, I allow her to rent the house. It's the same thing in some societies. Being a Muslim girl in some societies mm. is so strange yeah. that somebody keeps asking, do you have hair? Oh. <laughs> you have What's on oh. What's inside? What's inside? I keep saying That's to people, true. if you give me a jewelry set, don't bother with the neck piece. I would not show it. No. You know, don't bother. Just a bracelet, anklet is fine. Some people can't even do anklets. Mm. Recently, a friend of mine, a medical doctor, mm -hmm. Mm and she's already doing her master's, approached a bar in Abuja, and she was kicked out for wearing the hijab. Really? Hmm. Kicked out, oh, wow. as in, after searched, profiled, they exactly. went through her bags, and she was traveling through. She, she, she was a stopover, she wanted to do a <laughs> meeting quickly mm -hmm. at a cafe. Searched through the bars, see everything, 
search her person, she sat down to order. And the moment they said that order, they said, Madam, can you please vacate these premises? We don't allow people like you here. Wow. Imagine that. So, wow. for this discrimination. Discrimination. Mm. Accepting the person bad. because you don't understand them is wrong. Because, in fact, you just that is our topic love. today. That, everything we discussed on the Everything is about discrimination. discrimination. Mm -hmm. We're discriminating. Some are saying, wait it out. Mm. You can accept artists, your discrimination. Okay, I have waited out a lot of things. I'm enjoying so it. So, are we saying I mean, for the Nigerian society, <laughs> There are some Give things you will ordinarily be discriminated mm -hmm. about. Those things, you wait, is that what you say? Well, we wait it out. So, for instance, then I don't take then... handshake from men. Yes. Sometimes I excuse it. Most times I don't. And when I don't, I, t I once you explain. I'm a Muslim woman, I don't. If you go for that, I think that there's something uh, against, and then I, I, I defend myself, I antagonize you immediately. But if you're respectful, you maintain your distance, I, a friend. And then I'll show you further how interesting the person I can be. All right, we have to wrap up on this, but let me just come to Moe. What are you working on? Is there anything we should be expecting? Okay, so um, well, I literally just concluded. Yes, my catering company is still going on. I just concluded my um, podcast, my visual oh. podcast. Ah, nice. It's called Spill the Tea with the Abebes. It's with me and my cousin, ah. Nicole Abebe. And yeah, we basically talk about topics like yeah. this, you know, um, profiling, um, <laughs> sex education. I want to see it. Yes, yes, it's on YouTube. Yeah. It's just spill the tea with the baby. So make sure you watch it. I'd love to see what you're doing. I didn't hear the number. Spill, spill the tea with the oh, baby. Spill the tea. Ah. Yeah. That's you, the you she not this. She's not, no, she's not. No, but the truth is that there are people that fake it, but I'm like, you've always been like this. I've always been like this. I can, like this. I can ask you. We well, sometimes just ask. We just judge. You know, you, know, you, know, you, know, you ask. If you don't understand what you don't your lifestyle, yeah. ask. Mr. Landlord, ask. Mothers, ask. Fathers, yes. ask. Understand. Because at the end of the day, <laughs> these are people we love. We care. They're human beings. They're human beings uh -huh. like you and I. So mm -hmm. if we don't understand, seek to understand. And if you need time, take the time. But don't judge and mm -hmm. don't discriminate. Mm -hmm. On that note, we end the show. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.